Hey, I'm Michaela from Pace. This is Sam. We've teamed up with On for City to Surf to raise money for Gotcha for Life. Um, what we found is we've had a few people asking which On shoe might be best for City to Surf. So we've got our top three picks because um, it's not really just one shoe. It depends. Um, so yeah, we're just going to chat about it. Really. Yeah. Yeah. We've. Um We've got a good uh, continuum or spectrum of shoes here. So we've got our carbon plated option here. So if you're at the sort of pointy end of the course or you want to be quite competitive, I guess this is what you'll reach for. So yeah, every brand pretty much has a carbon plated shoe um, yeah. within their, their range. So this is a Cloud Boom Echo, which is a paper thin upper. Have you done any running in this? I haven't, unfortunately. It looks really sick though, so I'd like to try it. Yeah, so this is gonna be your competitive far shoe. It's probably not your sort of back of the pack, mid pack, sort of out there for a bit of time, because it's a reasonably aggressive design. That's why I haven't tried it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then what would you say would our next natural next shoe to go down. into. Yeah, it would probably be the Cloud Flow. This one's more like your racing flat. So if you think of the traditional, what would you say, Saucony Type A kind of style. Yeah, okay. It's got like a little bit more cushioning under the toe though. That Cloud under the toe is quite bouncy still. So it's kind of a tiny bit more cushion than the racing flat, but that same style, minimal running shoe. Yeah, I yeah. know this, this fits in like, yeah, pretty much that category that you've mm. you've talked about, that old school sort of low profile um, option. But I know a lot of people buy this shoe because they visually look quite nice. Yeah. But um, also it's like a gym shoe, like a cross yeah. trainer. Um, I guess it's quite low stacked hey? yeah, and a lot yeah. of the shoes now are really high stacked. So if you like feeling the ground, if you haven't bought a shoe in like a few years and you haven't been exposed to the high stack plush cushion shoes, then this would be a good option. Um, I have to say, I have a pair of these and I use it a lot for heel reps because it doesn't feel like you've got much on your foot. Um, so that way the shoe's just coming with you. And it also fits really, it's not like tight around the foot, but it's really snug around the foot. So you don't feel like you have a lot going on underneath. Um, so you get a lot of ground feel, which is quite nice. And then last of all, we have the Cloud Monster, which I'm actually wearing at the moment. I've I've been a huge fan of this shoe. This is pretty much my only on shoe that I own that I've done a lot of mileage in. Yeah. Um, I've had a few. I've had Cloud Surfers, Cloud Ultras, Cloud Ventures, like a lot of trail ones. Um, cloud Flows, actually, at one point, and Cloud Stratus. And now I've got Cloud Monsters, and they feel so different to all of those previous models that I was talking about. This is the only yeah. shoe I've ever bought two of. And I bought a second one so I could wear one casually so it didn't look destroyed <laughs> because they're so ridiculously comfy. Yeah, they're very plush. They're uh, pretty much the same sort of design as that Strata. So you've got a really solid mid, uh, top sole there. So you're in this nice bed of, of foam, Helion foam. And then the cloud units are really, really bouncy. Yeah, and this would be their softer shoe. Right? Yeah. I'd say this is probably the first on shoe that I've sort of felt what they describe in terms of the cloud tech. And the speedboard. And this yeah, the speedboard is good in, in terms of segmenting your, your plush top sole and then having underneath that speedboard that that bouncy cloud tech. Yeah. yeah. So in terms of the course of City to Surf, have you done the City to Surf? When I was fourteen. When you're 14. And do I'm you, doing it again this year. Do so you remember the course? I remember the course. I ran up the entire Heartbreak Hill. Yeah. And then I didn't run after that. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, I've done it twice since I've lived in Australia. And I've been living here like four years now. And both times I walked up Heartbreak <laughs> Hill. And I, the second year I was, um, I was kind of sick. It was before the pandemic. But I had a bit of a chest infection. And I was, I think I was in like... 27th or something at Heartbreak Hill oh, and no. then I walked up and got passed by 60 people and the fastest lady um, ran past me halfway up and the lead camera on her sort of panned and shamed me and I had a bunch of these messages from my friends in New Zealand and I was like yeah that was me yeah. and then no one actually tells you about the hills after Heartbreak Hill yeah because it's quite 
it's quite an undulating course, right? Yeah, and then obviously down into Bondi, it's quite like you're bobbing yeah, the hell. So in summary, race day, you want the Cloud Boom Echo. It's got the carbon plate and it's just going to act as a spring the entire race. And it's feather light yeah. compared to the other shoes in the range. Um, if you want a versatile shoe to train in for the next three weeks and to race in on race day, the Cloud Flow is a good option. Um, they're really lightweight and as Michaela said, going uphill, it's quite a nice shoe for that. Yeah, and then if you want an everyday shoe that you can definitely race in, that's going to benefit you on the hills, the Cloud Monster. Um, it will treat you really well on the course, but also just training afterwards before. If you haven't joined a team yet for CD to Surf, join Pace, good vibes, um, raise some money for Gotcha for Life. But otherwise, we'll see you there out on the course. <laughs>